let's talk about L Train too before we end the interview. Um, L Train, your boyfriend, business partner, everything. He got out of jail around the time that y'all first met, but recently, you know what I'm saying, he's gone. He went back to jail. Yeah. Can you explain what happened? So, me and him had just had got back from out of town. We had a we had got into it because he was doing some bullshit in his phone. I seen it. We get into it. A little petty shit, but Train, he's such a, like, he's nice, but he's stubborn. Like, when he mad, he got to prove a point. So, like, he, my mom was supposed to bring my dog that day because we were, we were gone. She's supposed to bring my dog, and so he get mad, and he like, man, I'm going to go get my dog. So, we driving on the way to Austin. We get pulled over because he was speeding. You know, they smelled the car, so they had reasonable search, and we had a stolen firearm in there. Mm. And uh, we had both went to jail, and uh, a lot of people don't even know that. We had both went to jail. I had bailed out, um, went to go get his friends. Me and his friends came back to get him the next day. And because he was on parole for his previous murder charge, um, that was a violation of his parole. So, uh, um, he ended up having a blue warrant in April. Come to find out, they had been following me around. And this is 2021. 2021. Yeah. They had found, they had been following me around. They had found out where I had lived. And, um, one day he went outside. Once again, we get into it. He mad. He go outside, go walk the dog. And he goes outside and it's two trucks parked outside. Four, four cops pop out and arrest him. Yeah. And yeah, he's been gone since then. He had a took a two year offer, but yeah, I don't know what's going on right now. Okay, so he's still kind of in limbo. He was supposed to go come home um, in April, next April, but, but I don't know how that's looking right now. Okay, okay. Well, man, I hope the best for him, man. Yeah. Um, I do too. You did so. Did you catch a case for the pistol? I did, but they dismissed it because okay. it was my first. Okay, man, what a joy to be young, man. I say, I swear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, okay, but um, I want to say again, shout out to L Train. I also want to say that L Train is by far probably one of the most dynamic persons that ever interviewed on uh Green Room. Like, I interviewed him twice, all his interviews go up, and they're all classic. So, you know, what I'm saying, I wish yeah. the best, man, because I actually for a while it's like. Nobody ever really talked about it when he went to jail. It was like he just disappeared. Because nobody knew what happened. And it was all quiet. Because it was just me and him. Yeah, like, yeah. And even after we was going through, it was going through and the blue warrant was out. It was just me and him. He didn't really leave the house. Um, he got really depressed before he went to jail because he couldn't leave. He couldn't make no money. It was just me. It all fell on me. And yeah. even after he went to jail, it all fell on me. Like, I had to take care of shit. But... I mean, he's an amazing person, and I wish the best for him. You know, even if things never completely work out with me and him, he's a great person, and I'd never make him try to be out to be anything other than that. Okay, for sure, for mm -hmm. sure, man. Definitely. Um, if he were to get out next year, you'd get back with him? We've, we've talked about it, <laughs> but <laughs> we've talked about it, but uh, my thing is, you know, uh, I just want to see change. Me and him went through a lot of things behind closed doors. And I feel like the person that I am today is going to be 22 years old. I'm not the same girl he met when I was 19. And a lot of shit that I was going for back then, I definitely don't go for now. Because I learned how to do a lot of things on my own. And now I learned that, oh, I can do shit on my own. Oh, I can still be this person. You know, I, I love you. I still have love for you. Went through a lot of things together, but... If we're not good for each other, we just not good for each other. So. Yeah, for sure. So, what's your 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 next major move for yourself right now? What you got? Because I know you're dancing, you're modeling. Yeah. I know you OnlyFans. Mm -hmm. You're getting a lot of money. Mm -hmm. So, when the album dropping? <laughs> <laughs> you know what's crazy? I actually had somebody come in the club the other day, and they was like, "Man, you got the look. Why are you on rap?" And I'm like, "Do I look like a rapper?" <laughs> like. No, I can't be no rapper, but no, nah, my, my next big move, I have actually, I have um, my surgery coming up in a couple months, and then um, 
Oh. After that, next year, I plan on going back to esthetician school and then getting back into the esthetician business because before I met Train, I was um, in esthetician school. I was doing eyelash extensions and I just want to get back into that. So. Okay, okay. Yeah. Man, um, you say uh, you about to get surgery. Yeah. So we about to get the BBL. Yeah, like man, uh, man, you about to get the BBL. Man. I'm gonna get the BBL. Why is the BBL so popular? Why do you think it is? It just, I mean, you know, I'm all for surgery. I, I'm all for fillers, all of that. I already have. I have Botox and I have a one milliliter of lip fillers, so I still gotta get some more. But okay, I'm, I'm all for all of that. I feel like. You know, if you want to look your best and you want to pay to look your best and pay to look your best, and that's not nobody else's business. For sure. You ever, but sometimes you hear about the bad stories, though? No? The bad stories? I said the bad stories. The bad stories. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see the bad stories <laughs> in the club all the time. For sure. You just got to go to the right person. <laughs> and it's sad. Like, I don't even like, it's a lot of girls that laugh at them girls. I don't laugh at them because I'm sure that girl look at herself and cry. Like, that shit not funny. Right. But yeah, you got you got to do your research. Not every doctor is for you. You got to go to the doctors that do your body type, like. For sure. So yeah. when you get the surgery, you gonna come back for another interview? Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be here because it's it's coming up real soon. No, we got a lot to talk about, man. Yeah. Man, I'm I'm gonna hold it right there. I could ask a bunch more shit, but <laughs> I got.